What's up everybody, Marvel the Cross 316, back with another comic book flashback today. We are looking at Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 51. Today's title is Shadow Puppets, and today folks, we're seeing um, the second appearance of the Black Cat, so it's going to be a pretty cool issue here. Spider-Man and Black Cat are going to finally meet up for the first time after what transpired last issue with Spider-Man trying to stop the black cat from stealing that clay tablet. And so we see that that's where we're going to pick up, as we saw from last issue when Peter Parker saw the incriminating footage here of him chasing Spider-Man and how now the news media is putting Spider-Man with black cat, saying that Spider-Man is like this threat to New York City, that they, there needs to be a stop to this crime and they think that Spider-Man is a villain along with the black cat and so as we see with this footage um, we see that there are these two gentlemen here this is Mr. Moore and this is Walter Denny and Walter Denny works for the Kingpin as we'll soon find out here so he is showing Mr. Moore everything that's going on on the TV with a black cat and Spider-Man and it looks like um, to them, Spider-Man is a threat after all. So we see Mr. Denny says, so. Mr. Moore says, so. So where is it? Where is the tablet? He says, oh, right. And we see Mr. Denny's like, so what are we going to do, Mr. Moore? And Mr. Moore says, I don't know what I'm supposed to be um, saying here. All I know is this Spider-Man guy broke into my office and... And really, that was actually the black cat, not Spider-Man. And then we see he says, you don't understand our disappointment. And Mr. Moore's going to basically be threatened by Mr. Denny here, Walter Denny, because as we know, the Kingpin does not like disappointments. So something mysterious is going on with this clay tablet we don't know exactly what but we saw from last issue that there was a lot of this ancient writing on it, it looked like hieroglyphics in my own estimation and so we're going to have to figure out exactly what is on that clay tablet is there like a secret to it that about immortality or something we'll, we'll find out soon enough but mr moore has a big responsibility on his hand. He has to figure out how in the world to get that clay tablet back to the kingpin because the kingpin needs that clay tablet for some reason. We don't know yet exactly what is on that clay tablet. And so Walter Denny has just come to Mr. Moore basically to threaten him. Mr. Moore is starting to have... Um, basically doubts about his involvement with the kingpin he knows that the kingpin is dangerous and all but he basically says i i think i want out of this i want to wash my hands of all of this and then walter denny says you came to mr fisk with a promise i think it best that you follow through with that promise as i am sure you have heard he doesn't take well to disappointment and we see that Walt, uh, Mr. Moore says, I don't suppose you want to tell me what is so important about this tablet that all this crazy stuff is happening to me in my life. And we see that Walter Denny is not going to reveal what's on that tablet. All he says is that Spider-Man is the most dangerous man on the face of the earth. So this is where we're going to now turn to. We are in... Midtown High School, Peter Parker is dozed off in class. Uh, he didn't get a good night's sleep last night, apparently. And so he is snoring in class. His teacher wakes him up saying, Mr. Parker. He's um, not my costume. Oh, he almost said costume. He falls out of the chair. People are laughing. His teacher says, Mr. Parker, cancel your plans for Saturday. You have a date with detention. So Peter Parker is... After class, is speaking with MJ about saying how embarrassing that was. He said he didn't get a good night's sleep. He said, did you see what was on TV about that burglary, MJ? Did you see that? Now I'm a cat burglar? I was trying to stop this crazy girl from what? 
and MJ says, we shouldn't be talking. You know, my dad and all. He's like, oh, he's just a fool of crap. And he said, he's bluffing, MJ. She says, no, he's not. This morning, I saw he was on the phone talking to these people that work at a private school. He's threatening to send me to a private school, Peter. And they both get into this argument here. And he said, what? Tell me, what's on your mind? MJ says, you don't have a father. You don't understand that. Oh, well, that's real nice. She said, no, no, I'm sorry. He said, I can't believe you're letting this get between us like this. After all, we've, it's not me. People are starting to look around because MJ and Peter are starting to yell at each other. Well, it's not me. MJ has tears in her eyes and she says, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And then she storms off upset. And Gwen caught the entire conversation here. It looks like Gwen is, uh, in these past few issues, she's been just kind of been silent here lately. So maybe she's just trying not to interfere with Peter Parker's life and his love affair with, or not love affair, but relationship with MJ, Mary Jane. But maybe Gwen might come around here and she might start trying to flirt with Peter Parker soon. We don't know. But anyway, at the Daily Bugle in the newsroom, Peter Parker is in deep into his thoughts. We see that Joe Robertson is going to come and give him this folder full of mail that he needs to log these onto the server. And he said, what are these? And Joe Robertson said, Sherry is sick, so I need you to log in all the personal ads that came in by Snell Mail personal ads there's there's money in here said oh hmm some people pay cash guess they don't want any trace that it's them there's a lot of money in this one what is it so then joe robertson picks up this letter and it's a half page and it says spider spider i was intrigued by our last meeting were you life is too short we should explore this meet me one roof over from last, the cat. So someone named the cat, which is the black cat, knows about that Peter Parker works at the Daily Bugle. And that's very strange here that, you know, how how would she know that Peter Parker works at the Daily Bugle unless maybe the black cat knows that Spider-Man is Peter Parker? We don't know for sure, though. But... We see Peter Parker is intrigued by this. He's like, hmm, so should I or should I not? Now it's going to get very interesting. We see that Mr. Moore is going to go into this bar, and he's meeting up with this lady here. And at first when I was reading this, I thought this was the black cat, but you'll soon find out exactly who this is. She says, I already know what the job is. I said, you had the money? I said, yeah. He said, put it on the table. That's right. We're done for today. Mr. Moore then is going to look. He says, don't. He said, look, I'm, look, you're just, I find you very attractive. You, you're not what I expected. You can leave now. Can, can I at least get your name? And then we finally see that she gets out of the shadows. This is not the black cat. This is the first appearance of Electra in the Ultimate Universe. If you don't know anything about Elektra, she is a big character in Daredevil comics. And so that's very interesting here. Elektra looks like she has been sent on a mission. She's like a mercenary. And she's going to be hunting down, it looks like, Spider-Man and the Black Cat. So back at Peter Parker's home, Peter Parker is um, thinking deeply into his thoughts about the Black Cat. And we see Aunt May comes in. She says, are you okay, sweetie? He says, I'm okay. He says, don't stay up too late, Peter. She walks out. He looks at the time. It's 10.22. He knows he needs to see the black cat. He's very intrigued about this. He's about to call Mary Jane when he sees that her father is on the end of the line. He puts the phone back down, thinks about the black cat. And he's like, mm, should I really do this? I know I'm in a relationship with Mary Jane. This could be very tempting here. I mean, 
Black Cat is very sexy. I don't know. And he's like, oh, what the hell with it. I'm going to go and look at her. I'm going to at least meet with her and tell her that stealing is wrong. I mean, yeah, sure. said, so meeting her just to talk is okay, right? I mean, she's not even there, first of all. It's just some big joke on me or it's some big trap. And I'm, you know what, I'm insulted she would try to trap me that this is lame. So yeah, I'm just showing up to tell her that I'm totally smart enough not to fall into her lame trap. But look who is waiting for Spider-Man. Yes, the black cat is waiting for him. And in fact, she has wine with cheese. So it's like Peter Parker as Spider-Man. She doesn't know that unless she does know. But we don't know for certain yet. Black Cat is waiting for Spider-Man, and she has wine and cheese. It's like a date here. So what is this? Black Cat takes off her mask and says, Hi. And Spider-Man's like, Well, I guess I can stay for a minute. He takes off part of his mask here just to drink some wine. When all of a sudden here, Spider-Man's spider sense goes off, and he's like, Duck! And he's like, Ah! And there's a huge sword whizzing right past them. And who is trying to attack Spider-Man and the Black Cat? Just so happens to be Elektra with her ninja throwing stars here. And so Spider-Man and the Black Cat have to deal with the threat of Elektra. We'll have to figure out how this all unfolds next issue in issue number 52. I hope to see y'all there. So go ahead now, give this video a like, and subscribe if you have not. And click this box here so that you can look at all my past videos of the Ultimate Spider-Man series. If you have missed out on any of them, you can click right here and view them at your own discretion. And so next time we'll be looking at this as we continue to see how this unfolds. And until next time, keep reading comics.